What's up YouTube? Jeff Beck again. Today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to be making an expanded video on one that I made a few weeks ago. I made a video on how to get custom ringtone and notification sounds on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but people keep asking the same question in the comments, which is a very good question. How do you enable custom notification sounds for each individual app? And Samsung actually buried that pretty far in the settings. So I'm gonna show you guys today how you can get this enabled for each individual application. Um, and we're going to take a look at that in just a second. Before we do, I wanna remind you guys that if you're looking to upgrade your wireless service, you can get premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month from my partners at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has some fantastic plan options in any data bracket or price range that you need. They've got a four gigabyte a month plan starting at $15 a month. 10 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month, and an unlimited plan, which I think is the best value for just $30 a month. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also a mobile hotspot included. It's very simple to get started. All you have to do is get either an eSIM or a physical SIM. If you wanna go old school, they'll send you a physical SIM kit out. They also include a SIM tool, of course, for your convenience. Pop that right in your phone and you're good to go. I've been using it now for a little over five months on my devices, and I've had great service here in the Phoenix, Arizona metro area. I know a lot of you have tried it as well and had a great time. So if you guys are interested, uh, you can go to my link, which is mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also gonna be in the pinned comment and in the description. Uh, and if you sign up today, I'm offering a promotion where I will send you a free phone case of your choice, any S23 Ultra case you're interested in, uh, even a UAG case or something like that. If you sign up for a three month Mint Mobile plan, I'm doing that personally as a thank you for my subscribers. So go to my link, mintmobile.com slash ringer. And I do thank Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. How to enable these custom app sounds for individual apps on a per app basis. So if you go into the settings, if you watch my previous video, if you go into sounds and vibrations, the notification sounds are right here. This changes the notification sounds kind of in general, right? And I showed you guys, I'll link the video below, how you can add custom notification sounds. So basically you download them, you copy and paste the file into the notifications folder on your device. So I showed this with File Manager Pro. In fact, let me go in here to File Manager, go back here, go to the internal storage on my device and scroll down to where it says notifications. You'll see I copied this file from my Google Drive called House Call and I put that in my notifications and now it's an option as a custom notification sound. But one thing that a lot of people wanna do is get individual notifications for each app so they know what app is sending the notification without having to look at their phone. So to do that, you've also gotta go into the settings menu and go down to apps, and then select the app that you're interested in notifications. I'll do a couple here, let's first do Facebook. So if I go to Facebook, we can scroll down here and you'll notice there's a lot of different options here and one of them at the very top is notifications. So once you get here, you can see it allows sound and vibrations. You're gonna scroll down to notification categories. Tap on notification categories and then there's all of these different channels. It's frankly ridiculous how many notification channels there are inside Android phones these days for most social media apps. You'll see there's notifications for your account, comments, tags, reminders, etc. cetera. Uh, if you tap on any of these, except this one, you can't tap on the top one, tapping the top one off basically just turns off notifications entirely. But if you tap on any notification channel below that, so let's say comments, this is gonna take you in here to a sub menu, which again, this is super buried in the settings, and then you're gonna tap on the sound option right here. So you'll see how it says app provided sound. That means Facebook controls its own notification sound. But well, you can change this. Just go into your folder that you stored that notification sound. And remember, I chose House Call or there's Cha Ching, which is the money song um, that you have from eBay. Like if you sell something on eBay, it makes a Cha Ching noise. You can choose this. And now House Call is now going to be, as you can see, my sound for Facebook comments. Now, the somewhat annoying thing about this is you need to do this for each individual notification type within the app. So for comments, it's changed, but if I go to tags, it's still got the same sound that Facebook provides. So if I wanted this to be house call, I have to tap on notifications again and choose house call. And then I have to do that for all of the notification channels that I wanna change that for. 
Now, the thing about this is though, you really should turn off any of these notification channels that you don't care about. So like, I don't really care about, let's say, um, your account information. Let's say I don't care about that. Then I get rid of that. Let's say I don't care about fundraisers. I can get rid of that entirely. That way I only need to turn on the notifications uh, for the things that I'm interested in. Um, and then turn off all the ones that you don't care about, change the sounds for the ones that you want. Now there are some other apps. So if we go into something like, you guys can see how far this is really buried in here. Uh, if we go down to something like, say Keep Notes, which is what I use for my outlines. If we go up to notifications in Keep Notes, go to categories, there aren't nearly as many channels you can see, right? Um, but if you go in here, it's uh, still the same thing. You can go in here and change the sound by tapping on your notifications folder and then choosing whatever it is that you want from that sound list. So the thing is you do have to work a little bit because you have to go so deep in these menus for all of the apps that you wanna change and then change it for all of the notifications in the channels that you care about, which on one hand does allow an extra level of customization because you could technically have one sound for Facebook comments and one sound for Facebook tagging, so you know exactly what's happening. But at the end of the day, given the number of channels, I figure like I would be confused as to what sound goes to which uh, if I had a different sound for every single notification channel within every social media app. There'd probably be hundreds of them. It'd be hard to keep track. But if you wanna do this, you can. You can customize it at a super high level. Uh, again, if you guys wanna see the basic video I made talking about how to get custom ringtones and notification sounds transferred to your device, I'll link that below. Uh, again, if you guys wanna check out premium wireless for my partners at Mint Mobile, you can get it starting at only 15 bucks a month and a free phone case from me. I'm sending that as a thank you. If you sign up for a three month Mint Mobile plan, go to mintmobile.com slash springer, also in the pinned comment and description. Get in touch with me on Twitter or on email, and I'll get you guys a case out if you do sign up for a Mint Mobile plan. I appreciate them partnering with the channel. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.